Hey, welcome back. Now, I just got out the firehouse and I'm back at my house. Uh, the job never stops. So, at my house, I just, I'm at my water heater right here and we talked about gas before, shutting off gas. Now, I'm not a plumber, and, uh, but I am a firefighter. So, I'm going to go over steps to uh, figure out problems with this. So, water heater basically in the house, uh, there's cold water going on, the hot water's not working, but I checked all the other appliances that have gas. So like my oven, my furnace, the gas is working, right? So you have to kind of like problem solve, right? So you look at this water heater and you're wondering in the little pilot hole here, like, hey, there's no gas, something's wrong. Well, uh, I tried to relight it and you can do it with a pilot right here. I think you can see what I'm doing. So you go to the pilot mode and you press down, that's, that's giving fuel to the burner and you, you have an igniter. Well, nothing's happening, right? So we have an issue, and the issue ends up being a thermal coupler. Thermal coupler right here. So you can buy these at Home Depot, uh, big box appliance stores, whatever like that. Um, I'm gonna go over steps to figure out and dismantle, change, and put it back in. Right now my family has no water, so they're kind of mad at me. So what I wanna do is, first thing you wanna do is you wanna shut off the gas. So really important here, uh, let me go oh, right in my face. So I'm gonna shut off the gas. So you shut off the gas. You don't want to mess around with gas and electrical at the same time. That could be bad. Um, now, it's a little close. Oh, I see. I have to plug in one thing here. Give me a second. I know you can hear me, but the sound's going to be so much better. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in. So now there is no gas to this guy. I want to go and I want to turn this guy off. This guy's gonna be off all the way off. Now, that's on the off position. I unscrewed all the screws here. You have to do that first. Now, there's gonna be a thermocoupler, which is the copper wire, and then you're gonna have uh, the gas that's connected to it. Thermocoupler tells you the temperature, and sometimes it does go out. You have to loosen up everything. So all the screws that are in the face, and um, I don't like messing with gas, but let's go ahead and do this here. Okay, so slowly but surely, let me close that door. You want to have a well ventilated area. Very important. If you don't have a well ventilated area, you can be in big trouble. So, uh, number one, so gas is shut off. Electricity to this it might be on. So, use your tools, right? Channel pliers, whatever tools you have. Um, you know, if you don't feel comfortable doing such a thing like this, you know, don't do it and get a plumber. You know, I'm doing this because I happen to be my house plumber and everything. I have to do all this stuff. You know, now the big one is, this is the gas. Loosen this guy up. And... Once, yeah, once it's loose, we're gonna move to the next part of it. I like making noises as I work, because that's just how I operate. Okay, so that's that. Gas is off. Confirm gas is off. Very important. So like I said, I unscrewed every screw to make the video a little faster. Pull this down, this should slide down. That's a, there we go. This guy's gonna come out. Now, this guy here. Da, 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 da. Okay. That guy comes off. This is, this is the operational part that's a pain in the booty. So, basically, there's two pieces here. Wiggle it out. Just wiggle this thing out like I did before. Yeah. Okay. Or, you know what? Better yet, might be able to leave it in there. Okay. So I'm going to wiggle this out, get it out, and I'll show you the rest. Bear with me here. 
Okay, so I have it out. I decided not to really pull it crazy out, but see it's right there. You could vacuum inside of there. Uh, it's probably worth vacuuming, but here is the thermocoupler here, and you can see how it's really close to the igniter area. You want that so it ignites. This is the thermocoupler. It goes through here. It's a copper. It goes right up, right to, right to here. Now, what I want to do, I don't know if you can even see that. What I want to do is I'm going to take it out of this package. I'm going to take this little, it's like a it's like a, a slip nut, like a nut to secure it when it fastens it onto here. And I'm going to kind of make it the same exact length, right to there, right, same exact length. And what I want to do is uh, take this old one out and put the new one in. And once I put the new one in, secure, fasten that little nut, the new one, right to it. There's little grooves on there. You can see it kind of like locks into place. And then, again, everything else would be... Um, connecting everything back together. So it's like Humpty Dumpty back together again type of thing. So everything should be uh, fine and dandy. I'm gonna get it to this and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and how to reconnect. And once you're all done, you wanna make sure there's no gas leak. So soap and water, spray, make sure there's no gas leak. You can see the bubbles and stuff like that when you turn on the gas. But we're not gonna go there yet. Let me take everything off and slip everything out. You can see right here, See that slips right out? So I'm going to slip that out and put the new thermocoupler on, and I'll show you right in a second. Okay, I got the new thermocoupler in here like this. I'm going to go ahead and lock this guy on. You can't, I don't know if you can see it right there. That's going to be anti-slipping, so it's going to help it from moving on me. And then what I do... Let's see here. Then what I do is I go ahead and bring it up to where it's supposed to be. And then I pretty much reconnect it. That's about it. Now the thing is, this moving, I kind of don't like that. Um, that's the interesting thing here. I can see that being an issue. Once that goes on, so, okay, so this is in right here. Now, what you want to do is slide it back into place, just like so. What I want to do is make sure that wire doesn't slip. So, you don't want it to slip out. I'm going to play around with that. Give me one second here. Okay, I'm back here. As you can see, I put, if you look right here, I put the nut in the middle right here, and I put the old one right on the outside. This will kind of prevent it from moving. It can move a little bit, but just not a lot. So as I put it back on, I'll show you, and I'll reignite it. But I have to secure all the screws and everything else. Hey there. Everything is hand tight. I screwed all the screws back in, and uh, I also used this guy here uh, underneath for the nuts. Uh, this is the old thermocoupler, the old one. Uh, not needed anymore. Done. So now we're going to just reconnect the new, the new stuff. So let me get a little lower. Uh, gas is still off, of course, and um, this guy is just going to go right inside of here, and. We got the 24 inch thermocoupler and the 24 inch reason why is because it's better sometimes to get the longer than the shorter. If you go ahead and get the shorty, well, you don't want to have an issue. You don't want to also cross thread. So when you're threading this back in, you want to make sure this is not going to cross thread. Uh, that's a, that's a big deal. Now, now I'm left-handed, so I'm sorry if my, uh, kind of blocking some of the video. Uh, this right over here, this guy goes inside and you just kind of screw it in. Like I said, hand tight, just like so. And once it gets to a certain degree, I'm gonna use my wrench. This guy here in there, compression fittings, those are great. Um, make sure this is, this is in. Okay, so. There we go. So compression. So I'm going to screw it in hand tight. Everything's still off like I was telling you before. 
So don't do any crazy stuff and have anything on. And I'm just going to do hand tight. And I think I'm still recording right now. Yeah, good. Once this is done, we're going to try everything out and turn on the gas. Cross our fingers. Make sure everything is going to be good. And I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, tighten these a little tighter. Just like I said, hand tight with the wrenches. And um, we're going to go ahead and start the gas. Then we're going to test it, see if there's any leaks with, uh, with some soap. Okay, sometimes you want to clean the igniter. So I cleaned it, right? And then I made sure the connection over here is good. There's a lot of dust. So clean that away. Gas is back off. I'm going to the sleeve right here. I'm going to go put this back over the connection part. Put the starter back into its designated spot. So this guy's going to do that. It's going to, like, basically, it creates a little electrical spark. That guy goes right there. Let's try this again. So on. Pilot. Let's see here. Is it on? Okay. Okay, it's there. It's in place. Fuel. Fuel's on. Furnace on, so furnace is back on. So we have the furnace back on. That's good. Just took a couple of minutes. Uh, let's see if there's any uh, leaks. So that's a lot of freaking soap. I don't think you need to put that much. But if there is any leaks, you'll see bubbles. That's not what we want to do. In fact, I should probably not put it on this guy here. Two bubbles. If there is any leaks, like I said, just a really quarter turn or just a slight turn to see. There we go. And also make sure you have carbon monoxide detectors in your house. I do see like a little, little something here. So again, wrench. Wrench down, dude. Wrench down. That's all you have to do. So, okay, and that's that's heated. So now our water heater is back on target. You see the flames? I think it's good. I'm gonna clean it off, and I think we're ready to go. Thanks for joining. This is Firefighter Caferata. Quick update. Uh, we're in my water heater room now. Everything's working. We got the water heater working, and you can see. You could hear it, it's all working, it's back on. I put it on the A mark, checked for any type of leaks. So I put a whole bunch of uh, soap underneath and everything looks good. It's getting warm. And you could put it on A, B, or C. C is really high. Um, I recommend just A or B, small family. Now here I have two carbon monoxide detectors. This might be a little bit of overkill right here, but basically two of these are gonna let me know uh, if there's any possible issues, um, hopefully not. There's uh, they're battery operated, and also you can plug them in the wall. So just replace the batteries. I'm doing that, and that's about it. So thanks for joining me today, Firefighter Caffrata, with another fire safety video. And uh, I'll get back to you soon, and have a great day. Thanks.